Hi all. Let's do some more C++ namespace. Uh, first video we went over this one. Second video we went over these. And now we'll do number three. In this one we'll only have one file. Let's run it first and see what it does. Uh, I'm already in the folder inside my command prompt and uh, we'll start the compiler we'll compile it and then we'll run it so all it does is it prints out a 1 and a 4 okay so in this program we have two namespaces the first one is my stuff and the second one is my stuff too and inside each namespace we have a class so we're putting a class inside of a namespace and same goes for this one here both classes are kind of the same uh, this one the function just returns an integer and this one the function does a, a little math I just wanted to show you that you can do different things inside of the functions okay and then down here in main that's where we start the program okay so let's go ahead and walk through this uh, start at main go to the my stuff namespace that would be the first one and then go to my class and create an instance of that class okay so it comes up here and it runs my class creates the object Hopefully you, you understand what's going on here. We have a private variable. We have some public variables. And then we have one function called adding. It's a member of my class. Okay, so back in main, our instance on our object call the adding function with no arguments. Okay, so it comes up here and runs the function, returns A, A goes back here. And then a 1 is stored in here. And then we print out the 1 here. And that's how we get the 1. So the main thing is that uh, we have a class inside of a namespace and then the second one it's basically the same thing 
but our function uh, takes two integers, adds them up, and returns the value. So just to run through it, we go to my stuff two. We go to my stuff two. Here's my class. So we go to my stuff two. Grab my class. Create an instance. And then on instance two, call the adding function. Send it two numbers. So it calls the adding function. Two comes into here, two comes into here, adds them together, returns four, four returns here, comes back to here, we get a four stored in here, and then it prints it out here. Four is printed out here. So that's how we get the four here. So the main thing is we have a class inside of a namespace. And it's named my class. And then up here, we also have a class inside of a namespace. And it also has the same name, my class. We can do that because they're in different namespaces. One is in namespace my stuff, and this one is in namespace my stuff too. So the whole idea is there might be a time where you want a class to do something different, but for some reason you want to use the same name when you create the objects down here you want to keep that the same here we're calling my class in the first namespace here we're calling my class in the second namespace even though it's the same name Okay, so that's the end of this example, and the next video will cover number four. See ya. Bye.